So what makes a number to be irrational? Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to look at how to classify numbers as either rational or irrational. Now we're going to examine the numbers that are on your screen in a way to help you understand how you can identify any number as either rational or irrational. Now, any number that can be written as a simple fraction, a over b, in which both a and b are integers, is a rational number. So, an irrational number is a number that cannot be expressed as a simple fraction. We cannot write it as a over b, where a and b are both integers. An integer is a whole number that can either be negative or positive. Right. In simple terms, we know that a number can be written as a fraction if it satisfies one of these two conditions. First, it should be terminating. And second, if it is non-terminating, it should be recurring. So first, we have to check if a number is terminating or non-terminating. Now, a number is terminating if it can come to an end. It stops somewhere. For example, 0 0.5 we have. 0 0.5 ends with one digit after the decimal comma. Because it has only two digits, and that's all about 0 0.5, then we say 0 0.5 is terminating. And this number can easily be written as a fraction, 1 over 2. That makes it a rational number. So let's have a look at 0 0.1111. This number goes on and on and on without stopping. It does not come to an end after the decimal comma. We say this number is non-terminating. Now, a non-terminating number can either be repeating or not repeating. If a non-terminating number is repeating, then it can be expressed as a fraction. Back to our number 0 0.11 and so on. In this number, we have the digit 1 repeating. So that means this number can be expressed as a simple fraction and is a rational number. How to convert recurring decimals into fractions is another concept that we'll be looking at in a different video. Sometimes more than one number can be repeating after the decimal comma. A number like 1.21717 goes on and on and on without coming to an end. But we have two digits that are repeating consistently after the decimal comma, which are 171717. That is good enough an indicator that this number can be written as a fraction. This number is a rational number. The square root of 2 is equal to 1.4. 4141356 this number goes on and on and on without coming to an end so it is a non terminating number a closer look at the digits that we have displayed on the calculator shows that root 2 is non repeating no digits are repeating in a defined pattern after the decimal comma. This number will never stop. 
it will never repeat so it cannot be written as a fraction and that makes the square root of 2 an irrational number moving on to our last number the former pi this calculator can only display the first 15 digits of pi however pi is non-terminating just like square root of 2 it goes on and on and on without coming to an end for pi though a number of digits like 9 3 keep appearing after the decimal comma these numbers do not show any pattern they appear and reappear in a random manner they do not follow a specific pattern so we say pi is not repeating pi is also non-terminating it does not terminate and it does not repeat that means pi cannot be written as a fraction and is for that reason that pi is an irrational number so what are we saying a non-terminating and non-repeating number cannot be expressed as a simple fraction and it is therefore an irrational number thanks for watching